What's up, everybody? Welcome to Patrol RC. So I have the old Red Cat uh, Ascent in front of me. Now, this thing performed very well. I was very happy with it, but Alex recently bought that uh, Banquish Stance ready to run. And uh, I think it outperformed this, but through no fault of this actual vehicle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mimic how that one came factory. So this one, the axles are set up zero, zero. So I'm going to 20% underdrive the rear to help that. Now the Vanquish has weights on the front, so I bought some brass. Hopefully I bought the right ones to put on that. That'll take care of those two things. Since I did send it for a swim, I got a receiver box I'm going to throw in it. Um, but the last key, just to have an even playing field, I picked up actually a set of the, and these are sticky. Picked up a set of the uh, tires that came on the Vanquish. Put them on a set of beadlock wheels. Now these are the red compounds. So I'm going to put those, these on this guy just so we can total level playing field. Plus these tires performed really well. These did good, but these did, I think, a hair better. They're a little bigger. They're a little narrower, but a little bigger. And the tires were already rubbing on this body. So I'm going to end up just trimming her out a little bit to make it work. A little bit of cutting, no big deal. And, uh, man, that's pretty much it. I'm going to class this place up a little bit when I do all this. And then hopefully once our spot thaws out in a couple weeks, we can put these head to head and see what happens. So let's start getting this built up. All right, everybody. Let's take a quick little walkthrough of how I took this Red Cat from stock to Vanquish Killer. At least I hope so anyway. That's my whole goal. Um, three simple steps I really did. Super easy. Um, like I said, $83 is all I have into it. Um, it's going to work awesome. So first thing I did, uh, I pulled the uh, transfer case apart. Two screws, one screw on the front drive shaft. Pull the whole shaft out. And I did, the only thing I did to achieve this was I undid the, the shocks from the top mount. And that allowed me to rotate the whole rear end right down. And I was able to pull everything right apart. Went really smooth, really easy. Threw some grease on it, slammed it back together. Good to go. Uh, second thing I did is I bought some brass uh, outer knuckles for the uh, front of the portal axles. It gives me, I forgot how many grams, but it'll give me just, I think, equivalent to what the Vanquish came with. That'll help balance the front, give it a little more front bite, really let it do that climbing. So there's step two. That was, uh, I can't wait to really see how this works out because I was pretty excited about that. The third thing I did is this thing did go for a pretty good swim. And we are heading back to the same environment that we did all that testing with it. So I bought a little receiver box that it's not like super waterproof, but hopefully if she takes a swim, nothing really will happen. Uh, it works, still works on the stock electronics, but I would like to not really bathe it too much more just in case. So we took care of that. Now I don't have to worry about that. And then the third thing, I threw the same Vanquish tires that are on Alex's stance. They are the red compound. Those are like $29 a pair. That's basically where all my money went. Um, I did have already a stock set of black beadlock wheels kicking around, so I didn't actually have to buy those. But uh, if you have, you can glue them on something, but I chose to beadlock them on those things. Uh, it actually fit super, super great. Really happy with how everything came out. Can't wait to see if this thing really goes toe to toe with that stance because I think the platform itself is strong enough. Where this thing has a good, good shot to do it. So, final step I really did wasn't really as important performance wise, aside from cutting the wheel wells out of the body. I had to really cut the wheel wells way above the fender flares, but it seems like it works, fits really well, it looks good. And then the last step I did just to class it up, I threw some black vinyl on it just because I didn't want to look at the blue anymore. I really kind of wanted to race it up a little bit, give it a, more of a I'm going to go out and kick Alex's butt kind of look. So it's not maybe, it's not super fancy, but you know what? It looks better. It looks more racy. I'm happy with it. So now we're buttoning her all back up. We're going to throw that body on. I'm going to go take her out, give a quick little test on it to see if this thing does end up being a stance killer. So keep your fingers crossed. Let's find out what happens.
All right, so we're all back. We're all put together and done. I did a slight little test on it because I just had to see how everything worked. Uh, tires seem fantastic. They got the brass weights in there to weight up the front a little bit. Underdriven rear end box on the receiver in case I decide to go swimming again. So this thing is all said and done. I fancied the body up. This is nothing but vinyl. I just cut some vinyl out just to make it a little different through some of the Red Cat stickers on it. And I, last thing I had to do is I really had to trim the body up. I came up way over the flares on the both front and rear. But the little bit I drove it, I didn't experience any body rubs, I don't believe, which is good. So I, I like that because it was really rubbing before. But so now last thing we're going to do, this is going against Alex's Vanquish because we're doing a little head to head. Two different price points, I believe. I'll put them down bottom just so you can compare them. This one was less money i believe but it didn't quite crawl it crawled really well for what it was but the vanquish just really crawled that much better so my goal was to see if i could put a little bit of money into this to go against his rig and uh, i think i might be pretty darn close to how that one performs but what next thing i gotta do is we're bringing some stuff over to his place so we're gonna head over to our little crawling spot we're gonna compare these and see how they do I think this is definitely a step up, but let's see if we can give that Vanquish a run for his money. So uh, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Throw me a couple comments. Give me a couple ideas what I can do, especially going against that rig. And uh, we'll catch you next time.